this because I don't want to have to keep beating you for the same thing because at that point it's exhausting and at this point go to your father <laughs> what's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel it is your girl Siri and this is everything Siri so today I'm gonna actually do a little bit something a little bit different um I'm kind of stepping away from them tutorials I feel like it's very like it's very it can be very boring and I feel like I have personality I know I have personality so I would rather just you know do something a little bit more conversational um so I am going to be reacting to Nella Rose that's my girl I love me some Nella Rose but I really love when she has like these conversational type of videos with her friends I think that's pretty much how her channel started if I'm not wrong um I'm kind of late to the Nella gang excuse me but um I just I'm gonna go ahead and kind of like kind of like you know um include myself in the conversation okay like I want to I want to be a part of the conversation okay so stick with me and we'll get right into this video why is there dents and stuff going on in your house? Oh my god! Like, I'm sorry, but it doesn't look better. I'd rather have a that's smaller sorry, and it's sorry, 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 sorry. and it's Hi friends, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Beef, where I bring my friends together yeah, to beef about unpopular opinions. So, to my left I have... Duran. Saranda. Chloe. And to my right... Tyler. Friska. Big F. Now let's get straight into this. <laughs> okay guys so the first statement is a bit mad but the first statement is a girl's wholeness can get deleted now before you guys go and be doing switching sides i'm playing devil's advocate okay so I'm okay before before she even answers and says anything a girl's wholeness can be deleted personally in my opinion, I feel like, yeah. I mean, as long as, like, you trying to delete it and not, like, trying to go back. Like, you know? Because at, at that point, it's kind of like, now you just playing. Like, now you just trying. Now you trying it. But, like, if you're a whole if you have some wholeness and now you want to settle down and you want to be a wifey, like, all that could be deleted. Like, that, leave that in the past. Don't bring that to your new, what you got going on. I think, I'm going to say, I'm going to go away, yes. Your girl's, a girl's wholeness can be deleted. But let's see what's going on. In the middle. A girl's wholeness can get deleted to the left if you agree. To the right if you disagree. I'm to the let's left. Let's moving. You disagree. Oh, That's fine. Oh, I want to go to the side. I know. I want to go to the side. Okay, so Tyler, would you like to start with your word? Deleted is a strong word. <laughs> it can be forgotten. Mm. It can be looked past. Deleted is... Nah, but sorry. No, but if it can be forgotten, that means it's basically deleted. Yeah. No, forgotten can be brought back up. Deleted is not the, that's I just not the word. I feel like sometimes you can just forget about it and just not go back to it. Forget exactly. To forget it. Don't go back and to it. it up and down the yes, block. Yes, but I didn't know better. I didn't know better. <laughs> now I know better. So now that I know better, I'm not going anymore. Do you know what? Maybe it was just a prime time. That was a time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to people, people started from like 16 to like 21, 22. Some people started from 30 to 40. As a man of God. <laughs> I just feel like, I, just, I don't know, I feel like, if you give it out to God, I feel like you can, you're, you're a new person in it. Mm. But the way society is, it will never be forgotten. Yeah, yeah. Especially oh, if you're in the public eye. Exactly. You're still a hoe. Exactly. <laughs> Are we talking about a woman being a hoe or? You said? Any wholeness. Wholeness. <laughs> For a man, it's a bit different. Yeah. It's sad, but it's exciting. <laughs> get, get back up here. Yeah. I'm saying, like, it will, like, if someone's a hoe, you will always know that person was a hoe. However, now she's done better. But so no, it's we did we forget? We did not forget. We did not forget. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like the way society built mm -hmm. and people will not forget like we've seen people like public figures being like kind of reckless mm -hmm. and then they just you know come clean and it's like people still bring it up so no i mean people can bring it up like okay there's drea no disrespect to drea but drea she even said her wholeness could be deleted could be deleted and i feel like drea has rebranded herself to be a boss to be a mogul i mean i mean that's her past you know that's what i'm saying like if you if you switch it up i guess rebrand in a way because she's a whole business but if you're just like 
a, like you know like an everyday person like you're not a celebrity i feel like if you kind of quote unquote rebrand like your yeah, wholeness could be deleted as long as you're not stepping to the wild side or the bad side whatever they said in dream girls if you're not stepping back into it i don't really see the problem i'm not gonna hold you i mean this is not personal i mean i'm not I haven't gone through a whole phase. I don't know if I'm ever going to, but like, I'm just trying to think like, <laughs> if it was one of my friends or somebody, like, I'm gonna forgive you for your wholeness. Like, I guess people gonna always talk. People gonna always talk. It don't matter. People gonna be mad. But, wholeness can be deleted. I'm gonna just stick by it. It cannot be deleted, but as a Christian, you can't be forgiven. Give your life to Christ today. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Period. Yeah. I know that's Why? right. Mm -hmm. Like, say for example, your your partner hides their holiness from you because they deleted it, but do they still need to let you know that they no. deleted it? Um, the cloud. Ooh. Oh, I was gonna say, you need to let me know. Yeah. So when anyone comes, I don't wanna hear. Oh, is that your? Mm. Yes. Yeah. 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 I want to be prepared. I want to be prepared for what I'm gonna say. Okay, that's true. Don't surprise. Don't shock me. <laughs> That's know. true. That's very true because imagine you're walking outside and you think your guy is actually cool and stuff, and then you see girls going like, hey, yeah. So I need to know. I need to know. I need to know. Yes, <laughs> Do you know to okay, wait. I feel like for men, it's totally, totally different. Men could be hoes. Like men are hoes, but men could be hoes and will. Still end up getting married, being a long term relationship. Really, like I feel like female. I feel like this is a different type of conversation. I feel like it comes down to like what women are willing to forgive and forget, and what men are willing to forgive and forget. And I feel like men are not as open to like forgiving and forgetting a female's past if she was a hoe, rather than being vice versa, a woman being um, open to. Um, forgiving, forgetting or forgiving, whatever they're trying to say in this, um, a man's wholeness, but it's kind of like, but then I could, I could hear, I can hear my guy friends now just saying like, well, a woman don't want a man unless he got hoes. And it's just like, that's not what we're talking that's not what we're talking about like of course a woman wants to feel like her man is wanted by somebody else when y'all are in like the the talking stage but when you're in a relationship i mean i feel like i'm getting off track but when you're in a relationship you know all that wholeness all that gotta go like unless you plan on acting on your wholeness i don't want to hear about your wholeness it's plain plain period Stage, you have FaceTime calls, you go out on dates, you guys have conversations, yeah? yeah I'm the type of person, we're gonna talk. Mm -hmm. I, we're not gonna talk over the phone, not Snapchat, we need to FaceTime. Mm -hmm. I need to see your facial expressions, <laughs> and see, when I ask a question, I need to see if that's your true response. <laughs> now, when I ask you, oh, how was you, what, how were you before I met you? Like, was you about, did you have fun? Let me know. You At know, that I, point, you can answer, that's calm. Yeah. That, but you won't go, oh, I was a hoe. Okay, because I had a crazy past. I had a crazy, yeah. I just feel like, I And if they want to elaborate, then we, then we can... <laughs> then you're going to elaborate. No, you don't have to elaborate. Can I say something? Mm -hmm. I just feel like y'all just downplaying it. <laughs> Facts is you were sucking at mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So now, it's a fact. Mm. It's a fact. You cannot be like, oh, I, you did that. So, therefore, <laughs> cannot be deleted. If you lied to me today, you lied. Mm -hmm. And it can't be deleted. No, but that's the thing. We will say the truth. But then, you have to decide if you cope with it or not. I don't want to do that. That's a bit mad. Yeah, that's the thing. So, that's up to you. Because someone else can be like, you know what? That was your past. You were young. What's your You know better. So, right. it's fine. But you can't come and tell me, oh, because you did this and that in the past, I don't want to f*** with you. What do you mean? There's nothing wrong with being a hoe. Like, hands on my knees, shaking hands on my thigh. <laughs> do what you want to do. <laughs> Do it. Okay, man. Like her tendencies. Don't you feel like somebody that just changes their life? Like they actually fight in every Wait, single what's day. What's her tendency? Sucking a. Okay. I don't think it was an addiction. Sometimes. <laughs> so, okay. Sometimes. I think mean, not, not all the time. Yeah, sometimes you, just like, you had your fun when you're younger, cool. It might be really early. Mm -hmm. You're with someone now. You got kids. Mm -hmm. That person might know about your past, mm -hmm. but it may not, they may not care. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your partner may not care, but sometimes it's what the world says. Exactly. That's the it's the, we're well, not talking about partners, guys. Like, that's we the care. Problem. It's not for everybody. We're talking about the, the world. Problem. Yeah, but that's true, but we can we can be like, um, I'm not going to think about what the world is saying. Okay, okay. Well, yeah. Because then we have to but live according to what pleases them. Do you get what I'm saying? Guys, basically, you guys are and y'all agree. 
Tyler, any last words? No, me at home. It's not hard. <laughs> Don't be All right, guys. So, basically, the next topic is for you guys. But I feel like we need to talk about it. <laughs> okay? BBL bodies look better than gym bodies. <laughs> Okay, B the next one is BBL bodies look better than gym bodies. I'm personally okay. So me, I'm a thickiana. Okay, I'm 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 still trying to get my my healthy lifestyle together. But part of me still wants to get a BBL one day. Like, but as far as looks, I feel like. I'm going to go with a gym body definitely looks better than a BBL body sometimes. Like, there are some bodies like Bernice, I think Drea. Like, there are bodies that where, like, a BBL can look real good, like, real natural, real, that's yours. But then, like, it's when it start getting into, like, ooh, little dusties. It start, it's when it start getting into, like, the, the ant body, like, the butt is big and then the leg is, like, toothpicks. Like, that's when it's, like... It's not giving what you thought was going to give when you put your deposit down. Like, it's just not. I'm I'm sorry. I'm going to say it. Like, I'm not against BBLs. Don't get me wrong. I, wa I want to get some type of, like, work done. But as far as it looking better, I'm definitely going to say natural body. Gym body, I meant. Gym bodies. Because, like, you can get the booty tight. You can get the thighs right. You can get the stomach flat. Like... It is a lot of work as I look at myself in the mirror with a lot of regret and disappointment, but <laughs> it can definitely, I, I'm, I'm, I, that's it. I'm just going to say gym body. Come on, Ella. What you got to say? If you agree, to the right. If you disagree. Yeah. Let's say our point. My point, your so I point, disagree. Your point, and then we'll move over to the bean burgers. Okay. We're just playing devil's advocate before you come and cancel us. It's enough. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the point of your BBL is to have the perfect body type to move fat to places where fat doesn't exist me for example i don't have hips i get a bbl i have hips so it's like it's the barbie body type i go gym obviously i fell off it's evident we're not going to talk about it we're not going to talk about it, we're not talk about it. but when i did go gym yeah my belly got flatter my bum got bigger there was still no hips. I can't go hips in the gym. I can't. Gym bodies look good. They feel better. They make you feel better. They make you healthier. But when I look at the Leave of Good Laws and the Miracle Watts and the the the, the, the Cow Sisters and the Jada Wages, I'm trying to be like that. I'm trying to be on this side. Thank you. <laughs> what are you saying? Whatever you say, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's also about genetics. Some yeah, girls, they just need to, need to hit the gym a little bit. And okay, that's true. That's true. But again, all right. So I'm, I feel like I'm on the same page. As long as they don't look crazy, I'm not mad at BBL. I'm not. They have the certain parts. You cannot get hips in the gym. I personally feel like BBLs look better, but they're not generally better because you're actually risking your life BBL is yeah. the most dangerous surgery oh, to get cosmetically in the world i hope mm. you guys know that they're not better but they look better if we're talking looks it's looks true. i'm yeah. really talking about <laughs> 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 oh, oh, i'm not gonna lie i get what you're saying about mm. the bbl looks better to an extent but mm. no shade to nobody <laughs> the bbls nowadays the hips are not matching with the legs okay oh, the that's what i'm saying <laughs> No, hold up, hold up, hold up. Now, gym bodies now, you see what you said is genetic. Some people naturally have like a nice-ish body mm -hmm. and they will go to gym and work on it. That BBL can't be that. The BBL, the, the way, the way a BBL, the way a BBL is meant to be is not being. But that, that's because mm -hmm. the doctors. That's right. That's what I'm trying to say. So BBLs nowadays that I'm seeing, not, not all of them are bad. 95% yes. are bad. Put your hands up if you think you've seen a BBL in the flesh that looks banging. Wait, wait, bang. When I went to Atlanta, sorry, when I went to Atlanta, oh, yeah. I couldn't believe my eyes. No, okay, that's different, that's but in London, yeah. come on, man. I don't know if it's the doctors or what they're requesting, <laughs> but I just think you need to you need to know your body, know what makes sense. You know, if yeah, you're skinny, bad. if you're like, skinny, don't get a massive butt. Yeah. It don't work on everyone, man. It puts your body at a big. Can risk. I just say I'm actually very sure that the boys are on this side. On on social For media, real? that's what you lot. Nah, nah, she brings up a she brings up a good point because online, let me tell you something. Online, men will really glorify the women with the BBLs, the tight this, the tight that, ah, 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 whatever the case may be. But 
they baby mothers be looking totally different. And there's no disrespect to their baby mothers or nothing like that. But it's like, y'all applying, applying mad pressure on these BBL girls. And in all actuality, you really don't care about that. Like, <laughs> it look good. I think it's more so like a man being able to gloat about they woman. Like, oh, her body is ah, ah, ah. Like, basically having a woman that everybody else gonna want. I don't really think... I don't really think men really care that much about BBO. Because at the end of the day, if they getting a little love and attention, they they here for it. Because I've seen it with my own eyes. Like, if you getting a little bit of love and attention, I've seen guys entertain, to entertain females that don't even match the caliber of man that they are. But because, again, a little love and attention, you're going to go, go over there. But... Y'all chat all this BBL, I, 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 reposting the big booties, little waist, girl, women, and I mean, it don't add up to me, but we gonna continue. Oh, we don't like that. Oh, I need a natural. We don't like that. Yeah? Oh, you, but they might even start cussing you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, all, that's all the saying until mm. they meet a skinny girl with her bum and they're like, mm. As women, women do feel like, you know, having a big bum, small waist is bad because men tend to worship yeah. Women that have a big window. What she said? Yes, well, it don't is. Well, I agree. Uh, yeah, bro. True. But, but, Wait, what I he said? Like, yes, well, it don't is. And do for a uh, yeah, I mean, well, yeah, we're not doing it for men, like but we're not going. We're not doing it for men, but at, we're doing it for self. But at the end of the day, if it catches a man's eye, like. I'm, it's a plus like <laughs> I don't put on this face and makeup in my wig and lay my edges cuz I know men don't really care about this men don't even know half the time what's real what's fake what's not that's for me but I know if I know it's gonna catch an attention from somebody that I'm feeling like I'm gonna do it it's, I'm not doing it for you I'm still doing it for me but it's a plus that you like it <laughs> but that's why I'm saying like I don't know what I'm saying. I feel like I'm confusing myself, but we... <laughs> they say they do things for themselves and they say they do things for other girls. But you do things to be desirable. I just f***ing lie up to it, laugh. We're not going to judge you. But does it even look better? Get in a bikini, a fun bikini. For real? Why are there dents and stuff going on in your Oh eyes? my God! Like, I'm sorry, but it doesn't look better. I'd rather have a that's smaller Sorry, and it's tall and it's... Cut, 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 when you get a BBL, are you supposed to know that they have a BBL? Normally no. not. So, so why do we know? There are mistakes. So why do we know? But oh, when you get a BBL, it's meant, meant to know. Oh. How, How would I know? know? How would I know? How are you going to know? Because your hips are here. Oh my god. Oh. This and you're going to ask your waist at the end. My hips are looking like this. I didn't have a Instagram. No. Can I say I something about Ryan. like guys uh, desiring that type of body? I don't. I think they want that type of body, but naturally. You see how some yeah. girls have small waist, big bum. They just want that naturally, not a so big body. So what are you body. trying to say about it? Go to Ghana. Never gonna get married. Um. Yeah. <laughs> don't so it short. Don't pay less than five k for your BBL. Um. So yeah, guys. Let's be great. <laughs> this last opinion. <laughs> I'm interested in what you're gonna say, but anyway. Verbally disciplining your kids is better than hitting them. Left if you agree, right if you dis. Verbally discipline over physical. I feel like there's a time and place for both. I don't feel like everything deserves to get you like to pop a kid. Okay, as a mom, a, I was I was raised by a Jamaican mom, and I'm gonna just leave that there. <laughs> okay. But for me, like, I just, like, now, like, that I'm, like, becoming, like, I guess an adult. <laughs> um, I would say just, like, I would say verbal discipline sometimes. And sometimes it really causes, like, a physical discipline because sometimes kids need to know I'm not playing. Like, this is not going to happen. Because, I mean, I would, okay, I would say it's levels to it. First, start off with verbal. Of course, verbal, verbal. Some things can get handled with verbal. If verbal is no longer working... It's gonna have to get physical. I said it. I said it, but let's see. Are we allowed to speak about this competition? Yeah. It depends, like, 
my dad don't know how to speak, so he's just attacking me. So problem is that's that's where I feel like verbally is wrong because he don't know how to do it. It all depends on the person because you can verbally explain to someone your what you're doing is wrong. Do you get what I mean? But if you go like, are you stupid? Are you mad? You're kicking someone. And you think, do you get what I mean? You you build up insecurities into the kid's mind like yo, actually I'm dumb. So then he's gonna start acting dumb. Do you get what I mean? But if you tell him like yo, you are a good child, you like my mom, like you in princess, don't do this. You're too beautiful to be. That's do you see? It all depends. So how you say it? Wait, what's let me, that? let me. She's a Sag. No, it's Sag. <laughs> no, I dare thought he said what sign is she? Okay, nah, we on the same Before page, Chloe. Okay. okay, that's <laughs> not I like it. I like it. I like it. No. All I'm saying is, yeah, hear me out. Fear is good. Mm. No, I used to not even want to think about misbehaving because I knew. That I don't want to be on my knees with my hands up for three hours. Okay. I'm not on that. With right I'm, not, on I'm not on trying to do this for three hours, you know what I mean? So I feel like sometimes instilling a little bit of fear into your kids. A little bit. Disrespect. You need to have a balance, innit? If you've got four children, you can't discipline them all the same. Let me no. tell you, because one, the oldest child might be easy to deal with. The second one, for example, might be a completely different person. They're not, they're not taken to how you used to deal with the older child. You need to switch up a bit. Now, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't fear your parents. What is a little bit of fear? How do you know if you're, you're in store? Let me, let me explain it in a different way, yeah. It's not fear, it's just like going out with a dominant <laughs> You understand? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No. So it's basically like, oh my God, like, I don't even want to wear this out because I know Danny finna spank. <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> it's like that. No <laughs> Number one, the reason why you shouldn't fear your parents is because, yeah, certain things you wouldn't want to tell your parents if you're scared of them. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? You can't, so you're gonna, you're gonna make decisions of your own, of your own mind. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So you need mm. to... No, because I used to fear my dad, and he never beat me, but his words were just. The, it was worse than him slapping me. Yeah, I would rather have him beat me up See? than whatever my dad was saying. That's not my dad. Me? Because my mom, she used to beat me. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't an angel whatsoever. She used to beat me. But I don't fear my mom. I fear my dad because I'm like, this man is about to say something crazy that I never heard before. For real? Can I say something? Yes. Stop raising traumatized children. We are over <laughs> it. Stop spanking your children. If you're not ready to be patient, don't have kids. Don't have kids. And let me say something. Let me say something. Be patient. There are you can do other stuff like you take the phone away, you take the something that they like don't spend because you're gonna raise traumatized children and that's why people are crazy right now. Let's say yeah, you're a single mother. Mm -hmm. you, got five, you got five children, you got mm -hmm. no you got you got no father figure in their life. I'm you're doing everything. Do everything on your own. You have to mm -hmm. go to work. It can be frustrating. Mm -hmm. If a child doesn't listen to you, sometimes you can speak to a child, you can speak to the child, but they're not understanding. They're, they're, they're not, they're not, they're not <laughs> I'm, I'm pro like telling him go to the go to your room or you stop, take something from them. When, they, start, when, work, when they start smashing stuff up in the room that you hold, what happens then? Then it's when I'm on your side. Because it's like now you're acting mad, like you want me to be mad, let's show No, we're gonna fight. I'm gonna go and lock that door. I'm gonna fight. See, that's what I was saying. I was that's exactly what I was saying. If you if it get to a certain point and you're not little boo ain't, ain't listening no more, I'm sorry, you gonna you gonna get a beating. Hey man, in this house we're gonna fight. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, what do you think? I just don't agree with hitting the kid. Mm. Like, bro, it creates a violent child. Yeah, you get it? Like, it's better to speak to your child like no. Some children you just can't speak to. You speak to it. Yeah, yeah, but it's because of how they were brought up. Yeah, so it, it all needs to start parents. from the get go. Because sometimes I feel no offense to parents, but and I don't have a child, so I, I can't really. But yeah. you need to know your child from the get go. Mm. Once they're little, you see their patterns and you start immediately. Not when they're f ten, you're trying to raise them. The f verbal might not be more effective, but it's better. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, like the effectiveness of, of hitting your child might be. We'll get to the point, do you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. you have to try and talk first, at least. Mm -hmm. First? Yeah. I think sometimes. Well, you're going to go straight in with the beatings. I think speaking of a child, I think from a child is from the age of two, in fact, yeah. one. And even if I don't agree with hitting, but I do think some children need a spanking when they, they pass yeah. the place. True. But I think some parents even hit their children and don't explain why they did it. Yeah. So the child will never, the child will think you're angry at them for no reason. Yeah. You need to explain. Mm. Yes. Why? You've done, I'm hitting you or not me hitting. I'm telling you because you've done this. Don't do that because this is the consequence of exactly. it. Exactly. I feel like it's good to have a parent that's that hits point. and a parent that explain doesn't. Because that's what I had. Yeah. So, so we don't have to do this again. Explain it to the kids so we don't have to go back and like revisit this. Because I don't want to have to keep beating you for the same thing. Because at that point, it's exhausting. And at this point, 
Go to your father. <laughs> my mom, she will, she will drag me Remember from the you? living room to the bathroom. Do you know what I mean? And then I had a dad that would just be like, I'm disappointed. And I'll be like, <laughs> Man, that was like, more though. That would like, like, that was like, I know the balance and I, and I agree with both because yeah. they both work. No, because I know, I know some children that have brilliant parents, but they're just... Tap. They just decided to. They just tap. Yeah. And I agree with that. Like, you also can't, like, keep them on hold. Because I know someone that was kept on hold and admitted that one night out they were let loose. Wow. They tried to. Yeah. I feel like. Because yeah, yeah. it's like, even with my parents, like, especially coming from a Muslim household, you yeah. already have that everything. Yeah. So it's that, like, automatically that respect. And also, I have all the siblings, yeah. and they were, like, parents as well, still are. Yeah. So it's that, like, you know, you have so many people that if you do something wrong, you will disappoint them. And that's it's what you're just basically, more. basically, guys, you're getting f up by everyone. Yeah. And that's absolutely fine. It takes a village to raise a kid. So basically, long story short, be beating and be talking. Because at this point, <laughs> at this point, <laughs> But anyways guys, that's it for today's episode of Let's Beef. Make sure you guys let us know what you guys thought down in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you guys in our next one. Bye. Women cheat better than men. Well, I definitely, definitely, definitely love some of the topics that she brought up. I really feel like that last one when it came to kids, though, I really feel like it's really is a, as she said, a balance. <laughs> like, I'm, because for me, like, I know that there were certain times where, like, I didn't need to get beat. Like, if you would have just had a conversation. Because for me, I was, I was, I'm old, like, I have an old, what is it? I have an old mentality, an older mentality. I was very mature for my age. So, talking to me would have definitely did it. Like, you did not have to beat me. Now I'm tra traumatized and I'm 26 years old and I'm still traumatized. But like I get it. It's, it's definitely a balance. But yeah. That is the end of this video. The Let's Beef episode 1. is the. It says the title is BBLs look better than gym bodies. That's what they went with the title for that one. But um, but yeah. If y'all like this. You know let me know what's up. Subscribe to my channel. Because I you know. I can't make no promises. I feel like I always say that. But like. I can make no promises, but I'm going to really try to be consistent. I am. Okay. Bye, y'all.